Alrighty. Welcome back. Subscribe. For today's video, I'm taking your Photoshop requests. So I saw Alex Weiss, A-dubs do it, love her videos, and she's one of my favorite YouTubers, and I thought I wanted to do it. Stop. I asked you guys on my social media to give me requests, Photoshop requests. And with the little knowledge that I have, we're gonna we're gonna make those requests come true. I wonder. <laughs> Like I said, my my knowledge is limited. This person said Photoshop Aubrey Plaza playing hopscotch. That is so oddly specific and weird. So we're gonna do it. Ow. I think I need like a full body photo. How am I gonna do this? I don't know literally anything about Photoshop. That one could work. I got complete full body. So we're in the Photoshop. So if you guys don't know, Aubrey Plaza is a very funny comedian and actress. <laughs> Let me just pull up her IMB page. Her foot looks so weird. Like, why does it look so gross in the sand? Okay, so this could work. She does not have a foot. We're probably gonna have to Photoshop a foot onto her. Oh my God, should we give her this bulbous ass foot? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I wish I knew how to like blend a photo. Okay, since her other foot's all fucked up, should we give her two feet? <laughs> oh my God, this looks so bad. I literally just plopped a layer. I didn't even blend it or anything. Girl, she is flexible. Aubrey and her feet. So I found this random drawing of a hopscotch. You see, I don't know how to do this. It's been like a half an hour and I've only done this. Okay, so there's a way that you can make it look like it's on the ground. So I'm gonna like try to do that. Give it a little dimension, you know? It's not letting me do anything. <laughs> this looks not bad though. It looks like actual hopscotch is on the ground. However, you can't really see it. Oh my God, bitch, we're gonna have to make her bow-legged. I present to you Miss Aubrey Plaza. Hopscotching on the beach with an added bonus. She is bow-legged. Someone said, can you please Photoshop big baby as Godzilla like he is crushing a city? All over TikTok, there is this baby that is literally ginormous. I don't know the time frames of when babies are supposed to look like what, but he looks like he's 40. Big baby on TikTok. <laughs> like this is insane. <laughs> look how big he is, so fucking big. <laughs> Oh my God, look at him. He's literally sleeping like an old ass man. That's literally how my dad takes naps. I'm not gonna sit here and bully a baby. All right, he's cute, but goddamn, <laughs> he's eaten. He eaten. Go, go. Now I need to find a reference photo of Godzilla. After some research, I found this photo that looks like, you know, somebody powed, bumped it with something in the middle, something fell. Who is blowing? Who is blowing the leaves? Shut the fuck up. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to use this photo of him sitting on his daddy. So, let me just do a little bit of cutting and splashing. Comment down below your guess on what this baby's age is. Fucking this baby. Is that baby, look at his head. God damn. I feel like it'd be funny if I just sat him down on top of all of the mass destruction that he caused, just cause he's like, I'm just a baby. I think we should make him do like a, like an evil laugh. All right, so we gave him a little bit of an evil demeanor. Um, not to demonize babies, <laughs> but, oh. I just looked up at my ceiling fan. That is nasty. Also, what if we gave him eyebrows? It's missing something and I don't know what it's missing. I think I know what it is. A knife. I actually know how to actually make that look real. This is probably the most asinine way to do this and the people who are pros in Photoshop, please forgive me. I add another layer to this baby. I cut out the little BB's hand um, and then get this. I take this object, like I'll put the knife, put it over it, take the hand, watch this. Boom. It looks like he's holding the knife. Seamless, really. All right, so here's our finished product because I don't want to look at this anymore. I present to you Big TikTok baby destroying a city. 
and then sitting on it. Someone said body hair onto unrealistic bodies. The first person that comes into my head is Kendall Jenner. I wanna go the whole nine yards here. They said body hair, body hair is all over. So we have this beautiful photo of Miss Kendall. Great photo, she looks amazing, but we're gonna spice it up with some fucking body hair. The first thing I wanna do since she is in a bikini right now is to give her Pio big hair. That looks bush, bushy. Oh my God, okay, so from far away, it looks like she is, she's packing. I think I did it. Like, does that not look so realistic? It does. Oh, wow. I hope I could show this on YouTube. But it's not obviously not the best, but damn, it's pretty close. Ah, fuck, I hate this. I hate brushes. I hate brushes. I need strokes, strokes. We can't figure this out. I'm so hungry, I could die. Welcome back. Hello everyone. New shirt, different day. We are back again, a new day, new Photoshop techniques. Nope, new Photoshop requests. My hair is wet, took a shower, gross things came out of the bathtub. Don't wanna talk about it, it ruined my day. So right here we have Kendall Jenner and her bikini line. This is where we left off. I didn't really like how it was going, so I just wanted to scratch it and try again. So I think I'm just gonna run this brush through her boo-boo. <laughs> I didn't mean to call her her boo-boo. So just sort of like that, and then I'm gonna add another layer on top of that to make it look like, you know. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mask over um, the, <laughs> the piece of cloth over her bussy. Put the piece of cloth over like so, maybe make it a little bigger. You know, I love this. I think it's a work of art. As body positive and as free as she is with her body, I think this would be so cool to see. I don't know, just me. So now we're gonna try to go for a little bit of armpit hair. Now I'm thinking about my armpit hair. Mine is really coarse and fuzzy. Maybe just like a little bit like that. Okay, now I kinda wanna give it a go with a little bit of leg hair, but I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. They're sitting there for upwards of 45 minutes trying to find a brush that was comparable to leg hair. Here's the finished product. I basically gave up. As you can see, I'm very, 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 very good. So for the next and final one, because I am exhausted. Thank you. Someone asked me if I could give Ed from 90 Day Fiance a neck. I'm not for bullying like physical features, but he's a piece of shit. So he's fair game in my eyes. Basically, he met this girl named Rose in the Philippines. Basically bullied her for her like physical appearance. It was like, you have bad breath, your legs are hairy, it grosses me out. And it's just like, yeah, yeah. Ugh, look at him thinking he all that. He knew she was really, really poor and like didn't really live in a house. Yet he goes to her to her crib and is like shocked and disgusted. <laughs> We're gonna use this one. So now we need to find a neck. <laughs> These are all some very nice necks. I don't know what's going on with this neck, lump and neck. Go, this is literally me on the computer doing work. I'm just gonna look up person with long neck. Maybe we can find. All right, so this is Ed. And this is really all this man deserves, to be quite honest with you. This person said, make Waffle big and make it look like he's holding you. So if you don't know who Waffle is for new hair, welcome. Waffle's my dog. So I just took this photo of Waffle looking so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of me. This is the photo I'm using. I need to make it look like Waffle is cradling me, except Waffle has no arms, so I'm gonna have to find him fucking arms. Not a very good photo, but I'm gonna be like right here. Long doggy arms. Dog has no arms. <laughs> That's not what I want. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to use our clip art arms. So these are gonna be Waffle's arms. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. So heaven's got a plan for you! Oh no, I got two right arms. The most seamless Photoshop dog ever. I think Waffle thinks I am ugly. To say I'm an artist is the truth. To say I break boundaries would be the truth. To say I'm that bitch is the truth. Honestly, this photo is giving me like Republican vibes, so. 
This is the finished product. Um, yeah. Honestly though, I'm getting like a vision. <laughs> I put something together and it is art. So basically I combined a lot of the pieces that we have made previously in this video, but I also added some things. It's like a mood board, honestly. Yank you with no broom. But this is the art that I have to bring to the table. I just wanna let everyone know that you don't have to be good at art to be an artist. You can be anyone. You can be an artist if you put your mind your brain, and you put it through it. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for watching this crazy video. Savage. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If not, thumbs it down. Hi, everyone. Today's video is donated to the National Bail Fund Network. So the National Bail Fund Network basically accepts donations and helps marginalized and black people pay their bail when they've gotten arrested for things such as protesting, etc. Basically, a lot of marginalized people are jailed simply because they can't afford the post bail. And it's just sort of an aggressive tactic to once again oppress people of color. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And in that same link, you can also find your state's bail fund. I didn't know how to start uploading again without seeming like I'm ignoring things. Um, being funny is what I love to do. And I love making people laugh. And I think I can still do that while also bringing awareness. If you didn't see my post from a few days ago, I'm going to be dedicating um, an organization or a cause to each of my videos. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh.